welcome to the newest episode of Aloha Authentic. I'm your host, Kamakapili. And in this episode, you know, we all have those things around our wrist, especially our mothers, the Hawaiian bracelet. Where did that even come from? Well, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the history of Hawaiian jewelry. Now, for this kuka kuka session, this conversation, we're here with the beautiful backdrop of Haiku Gardens here in Kaneohe on Oahu, a beautiful place for you guys to come and check out, especially if you're looking for a wedding, this may be a perfect place for you. Now, with this beautiful backdrop setting our Aloha Authentic conversation, we also have our umeke, our bowl of poi. And you know, Tutu always used to say growing up, when the bowl of poi is open on the dinner table, no negativity is spoken, only words of positivity and, and, and good vibes. And that's exactly what you're going to be getting. Again, talking about Hawaiian jewelry, and there's nobody better to speak with than Royal Hawaiian Heritage Jewelry. It's so fitting. We're here with Jackie Breeden. Thank you very much for, for joining us. We, we really appreciate the time. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me, Kamaka. Well, it's good to see you. It's been a long time oh, since we've seen been. you. Yeah. <laughs> How's everything going? Good? It's going good. It's going right good. On. <laughs> well, we want to talk about jury, and you guys do that, perpetuate this art. But one thing I recently learned was that what we know as Hawaiian jury really originates from Hawaii in terms of, of our ali'i, bringing right. it here mm -hmm. and growing it. Tell us a little bit about where, what that origin is. Where did Hawaiian jury come from? It came from England. Yeah, it uh, started back in the late 1800s um, with uh, Queen Victoria. Queen um, Kapiolani and Princess Liokalani went to celebrate the Queen's Jubilee, and they were gifted with these Hawaiian bangles um, with Prince Albert's name on it, done in the black enamel. Mm. So when she brought it home, is that it just became part of because I, I you know when you come home to Iolani Palace I mean oh yeah <laughs> the palace yeah. has such a regal Victorian vibe and that's what the type of energy or the type of vibe I get from what we know as Hawaiian jury yeah what did she do since bringing it back home did did they evolve it in their own way the, yes they did they added more of a Hawaiian flair to it using our uh, beautiful flowers the hibiscus the plumeria uh, the mighty leaf flay mm -hmm. and uh, she had gifted the, um, the bracelets to her royalty mm -hmm. as gifts to them as well now what you guys do at Royal Hawaiian Heritage Jury uh, Heritage Jury to continue this is a lot different the, the technology oh, you guys, yeah. the machinery you have now with all the designs you're saying, the, the Miley Leaf and all this stuff, the names, <laughs> you know, when my mom has my name, knowing that's my heirloom, and yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to inherit that. Where, how did they engrave and do the artwork on the jury back then when they didn't have that? Well, back then, it was done, what I, what I was taught was they did it with rollers. Okay. And that's why the design is so intricate and scrolling. And then they got into the handcrafting mm -hmm. of it. And... Um, Today, there's machines that can do the same designs and stuff, but we're one of the ju only jewelers that does it by hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that an art that continues? Because I don't know very much people who oh, yeah. continue to hand engrave that I'm aware of. Yeah, no, it, it, it is an art. And um, a lot, like, the, one of the engravers that we have, he is, I would say, the best engraver in the state. Mm -hmm. And he had taught himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you guys travel around the world representing Hawaii through mm -hmm. your jury. What is so unique about Hawaiian jury now than others that you'll find around the world? Our, ours are still handcrafted, hand done, and the, it's just the, the beauty of it. It's, mm -hmm. it's a one-of-a-kind piece, mm -hmm. you know, and with the, also with the real traditional style of the black enamel, it just, it really pops and mm -hmm. That's Hawaii's jewelry, you know? <laughs> but you guys do so much other things. I mean, I know artists who continue to evolve jewelry from what, it's, what it is. And I mean, adding plants. Adding... Oh, yeah. You know, the Hawaiian jewelry that I'm seeing customers coming in, they are custom making their own pieces of jewelry. And it could be um, flowers that... Um, the, the mom used to love or grandmas used to love and they would actually design their own bracelet so that the bracelet tells a story of their family mm -hmm. you know so that art of storytelling yes. in Hawaii is very Strong. prominent yes. and it's I think nowadays trying to find contemporary means to continue that art do you see that happening through jury oh yes yeah how yeah. effective do you think that will be for if it's not a customer or if it's just somebody who's coming to check out what pieces you're offering, how to get that message across? It, it will, 
Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah. Good question, you know. You told me only easy questions. <laughs> that's your one curveball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one curveball. But no, I think um, with machines and the programs that are available now, like if we were ever to do that, we would be very um, strict about what kind, how the design came out on the bracelet. Mm -hmm. You and know? that's what you're actually trying to do with workshops in terms of perpetuating this art yes. of hand engraving. To show them how, it, how it's done and how you can just take a, a p plain piece of metal and make it look to this beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. Do you see that, that art of hand engraving becoming lost? Hmm. I think so, yes. Yes. You know, um, the engravers that we have, they're older. We, we're trying to have the younger generation come in, try their hand mm -hmm. at engraving, and, you know, hopefully we can keep it going. Because a lot of our, um, like, our people that do the jewelry now, like I was telling you, they do computer. Mm -hmm. They do the computer style, and, it, and, and you can tell from a hand graved piece and a computer. I like those little mistakes, yes. the little niches, the yeah. little things that probably aren't expected. Yes, right yeah. On. So mm -hmm. we're going to be heading down to Royal Hawaiian Heritage Jury in Honolulu to see the workshops that they're putting on to continue the art of hand engraving, which again is slowly dying off. So we want to continue that. I want to try to find out what I can do, but again, yeah. no expectations, right? <laughs> no set them high because I'm going to just give a little doodle and sketch on top of this, <laughs> see what I can do. But again, all of that coming up right here on Aloha Authentic. Welcome back to Aloha Authentic. We moved here to Bishop Street in Honolulu where you'll find the, the shop of Royal Hawaiian Heritage Jewelry. And we're here with Jackie. Thank you very much for inviting oh, us and letting us come in here. Now we see your setup. This is where exactly the place where you guys do these workshops that you guys just yes. started. Tell us a little bit about these workshops and how has the feedback been so far? Oh, the, the feedback's been great. Uh, uh, customers are in awe on how the Hawaiian jewelry is made. Mm -hmm. So just them sitting here and just engraving their own piece, mm -hmm. they can feel like one of the jewelers back in the day. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys do this for large parties, tourists, yeah. which I think mm -hmm. is really interesting, sharing this part of our culture with them. But of course, our own local people too. Oh, yeah. It, and I think that would be really cool, especially for our Ohana birthday presents, whatever. This is some, you know, one way we can put our natural selves yes, into this. Yep. If people want to find out how to be able to do this, where can they go? They can go to our website, rhhj.com, Royal Hawaiian Heritage Jewelry. Okay, right on. So just know, take notes on this because this may be something definitely you're going to want to do. I've never knew this was a, was a thing. So thank you very much for bringing oh. it to our attention. Now I'm really excited. Before we get to this part, though, I'm, I am understanding this is where the engraving goes, but we have right. to make the piece that becomes Correct. engraved. So what is the first step of you guys making jewelry? So how, how the metal comes is in, it looks like a piece of wire. Okay. And so what we do is we cut it to the size that was ordered, and then um, the, let, the name gets put on by, the, by our computer, mm -hmm. and then the pieces get soldered together. And then it gets taken to our engraver, who will then draw out the design and then start engraving on it. And, and this is where today. we're at. Yeah, <laughs> but we're going to be doing it on a pendant. Okay. So you know, we we'll start small for <laughs> you. <laughs> and then we get to the big piece. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we yeah. are engravers today. Welcome. We are. Thank yes. You for being here. <laughs> safety first. Safety, safety first. Okay. Because we are using a knife, sharp tools, and engraving. This is a dying art, so we're trying to keep this going. Correct. So thank yeah. you guys. No. So, so what is the first step? How do we do this? So we got our piece on there. You yep. got the practice piece. And then we're just going to hold our, our engraving knife. Okay. And then we're just going to walk it across. Just kind of wiggle. We just do it like a wiggle. Yeah, exactly. And that's where the engrave. Okay. And then you can move your ball that it will uh, move the, it should move oh, the. Oh, that's how, so especially like curves where, you know, making the yeah. leaves mm -hmm, and everything. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What? From this part, so once we do the engraving, then what are the other steps that are following this to get to that final oh, piece? Oh, okay, so then there is, um, after the piece is done engraved, we do a first polish. We polish up the jewelry, and then we add on our, if the customer wants black enamel, we fill the letters with black enamel. That's the, another thing, actually, sorry, letters. Yeah. I notice all Hawaiian jewelry have old English. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that something how it was, or is that? Yes, a, a that's how the bracelets were presented to our queen and princess with the black, with the black enamel lettering. And what I found out interesting too, what they used in England was they used to take a uh, piece of the deceased hair, 
as and enamel. Put, yes, and put it in with the enamel. What is enamel? Is that like an ink? Yeah, it's just like an ink, yeah. And they put it in. Wow, that is Yeah, so no, I, I, when I was um, catching up, <laughs> I found that and I thought that was interesting. But the black represented uh, the morning, the time of mourning for their oh, loved one, you know? Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. right on. Ooh, the chick chicken skin on that yeah. one. So, with this, I mean, how long, you know, Magic of Television, this is only a few minutes, but yeah. how long is this process, really? The process, it takes about, for the pendants, about an hour. Because okay. keep in mind, it's hand done. And then when you see your finished piece, you're going to know why that, yeah. you know, it takes an hour. And if we were to do this with machine? With machine, easy, 20 minutes. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm making a K All right on. for Kamaka. But it's going to be for my mother, for Mother's Day. I should have oh, made nice, an huh? M, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're up to this point. We, we engrave, I make beautiful art on my pieces. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> but what is that final piece to make it? Because I'm assuming back then they didn't have like rhodium, which will right, give right. it the protection over tarnish. But now we have a, you know, a lot of elements living by the ocean, yeah, you know, oh, all yeah. these things that we want to make sure these become a piece that lasts forever. Mm -hmm. What are those final touches to this? It's Well, after our, first, our last polish, you, you have a nice shiny piece. And in order to keep that nice shine, you want to upkeep your jewelry. Clean it often. Get a mm -hmm. polishing cloth. They're like five bucks. Mm -hmm. And just use that to clean your bracelets and rings and just to um, retain the beauty of your piece. You know, you, you took us down to the bottom where from here looking outside into your shop we would not know that this oh, yeah. is big of a production but there's so much steps downstairs mm -hmm. you mentioned you even give part of this tour or this class you give them the tour of the factory yes what is the coolest thing that people walk away with with that wow i had no idea yeah oh it's the whole process yeah. because i remember when i first came into this business and took a factory tour and I've already been with the company for maybe five years already, but actually to see how the piece is done, mm -hmm. it's unreal. Like, your, your piece started off like just with a piece of wire. Yeah. And what you come out with after. So you know, there's a lot of local artisans, a lot of entrepreneurs who are getting into jewelry, a lot of seashells, bangles, mm -hmm, cheaper mm -hmm. stuff, but a lot more that are doing this as well. Now, with your guys' experience, how do you see Hawaiian jury evolving in today's world? Oh, just with uh, using different metals. Um, there's more of the wood, wood, mm -hmm. wood designs. Um, people are doing like cutout designs now. But the concept is kind of the same, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's at least continuing what the basis and the origin of Hawaiian jury right. is. I've seen some stuff. I mean, one artist, Molokai Sui Kiala is her name. She got to the point of which I think actually Hawaiian jury is where they get native plants and embalm that in resin and, and use wow. that as pendants and things. So I, I mean, it, it's, just, it's just amazing to see how this art of storytelling in a very oh, yeah. regal and, and pristine way just continues. Yeah. Thank you very much, because I'm so stoked to have a cool little piece here that I'm, maybe I don't want to give it to my mom. <laughs> for myself. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, I re really appreciate it.